up guys, D3 here, and today we're going to be going over how I got so much gold and how you can get a lot too. Now this is a list of more don'ts than do's and more of a list where free to play players are players who are just can't seem to hang on to their gold for some reason. So without further ado, let's get into the list. Now first up on the list is adventure. What you get from adventure is a lot. You can get gear. Balloons, gold, and most importantly is the pirate encounters. Now the pirate encounters give you a lot of gold and a lot of experience for your loans. And you're gonna want to do them every time they come up because they will give you a lot. Now, another thing that coincides with the adventure is the one hour gold up timer. Now you can do these if you're really low on gold, but personally I recommend the account experience up because you're gonna need it for the next item on the list. So, moving on. Zodiac. You're gonna want to invest in two Zodiacs in particular, especially for the gold. July Cancer with the Pirate Encounter Rate 1.5 chance up, and the other one on February Aquarius. Now, these will help you encounter more pirates and adventure, so I would personally recommend you invest in those especially maximum and the last one of the do's on the list is dimensional rift i would personally recommend you invest in this one because getting to wave 12 will net you 240,000 gold daily now there are uh, rewards on the waves where it can give you more gold or rubies so i personally recommend you getting all the way to wave 12 because you can get close to 300,000 gold daily. That's a lot. Now, moving on to the don'ts. What I also don't recommend is you invest heavily into Zodiac. There are so many other Zodiacs on here. Now, while all of them do different things, I wouldn't, especially when you're starting out, I wouldn't invest heavily into them. I can invest into them because I'm more late game now and I have more gold. But when I was first starting out, I did not invest in them at all. I only invested in the pirate encounter rates up. Now, another one you don't want to invest in too heavily is the workshop. I personally think it's more for in-game and for PvP. So I wouldn't recommend investing in, investing into them heavily. Now, Another thing you get from adventure is a lot of balloons and a lot of gear. I've already scrapped mine, but you can sell them. You won't get much from them, but you are going to need the balloons for the light orbs so you can do your light summons, and you're going to need the gear for when you scrap it so you can get enhanced stones for when you're enhancing your gear. I personally do not think selling them is the more profitable option because you're going to need a lot of these stones. Trust me, they will fall fast. Now, this is more of a personal, personal preference than anything, but I would kind of stay away from the supply shop because some of the gear and the investments and the stuff that you can get very easily in the game, like... Yeah, you can get all of these in better than this very easily in the game. Alright, next on the list. Fusion in lab. I would personally not recommend using uh, normal and uncommons because it's just a waste of gold, if anything. And I personally would wait to fuse uncommon and common skill books. Especially when you have more gold to spend on them. Because while you do need skill books, they, are your, they will tank your gold fast. 2,000, it will add up. Trust me. It will add up. Now, once you have more gold, you can invest in it to get more epics and legendaries. But when you're first starting out, I wouldn't. Now, last on the list, and this is more of what your alliance is like than what you can actually get away with. But some alliances uh, make you do 100,000 daily, and some just want 50,000. 
So that's more of a personal thing or world alliance thing than anything. So that's up to you. All right. I hope my video has helped you save at least a little bit of gold and hope you learned something from this. And if you like, consider liking and subscribing and leave a comment down below for things I can do in the future that you might be interested in. And with that being said, peace.